Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want me to put me posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Alright, so I got the Retro Spearman Wave Peter Parker here. Uh, I found him at my Target. I was so happy I found him. And I like how the box looks. Or, not the box. Well, yeah, it's box. Um, so, here's Peter Parker on the build board with the half-faced Peter Parker and Spider-Man camera comes with the camera the um spider-man animated series logo my favorite animated series and yeah and then here's the back it has that cool like retro look that i used to get I, I had one of the um figures where you had to pull the string and it lights up it's like the uh, electric spider-man spider lit up yellow um and then it has you show it's showing them how to swap heads and if you want you could pause the video and read that if you like i'm not gonna read it because it suck and in the wave you get spearman electro green goblin gwen stacy and daredevil and then here's uh so here's the front here's the side other side top nothing bottom nothing besides that little paper and in the back uh, and then dcpi so Let's crack this thing open, and they have this little tab here so you can open it, so, uh, yeah. All right, so here he is on the packaging. He only has two accessories, which is this camera. Looks pretty decent. I mean, nothing really too special. They probably should have made this part, the, the camera lens part, gray or silver or something. They did get on the flash. I would think they would be able to do that, especially in the comics, it looked like that. And nothing in the back. They have nice detailing, though. Um, I wish they came with a strap so you could have him like have him hanging on his neck or something. And then the next one is the extra head, half spa half faced Spider Man and Peter Parker. Peter Parker looks good. You can see, but the only problem that I see here is that little tan through the mask area because it was it had to be raised a little bit. But I mean, you can't really do anything about that. And then the Spider Man head, the lines that look. Just a little off right here. I'm not sure if you can see it. I've heard there's some people are having problems with the webs like not lining up real well or something. So mask I mean the eyes look pretty good though. So it can't the hair looks good. I think this is the same head sculpt as well the same the Peter Parker one. It kinda looks like the uh, Peter Parker from the Craven one. Um, and black suit one so yeah and then let's go over the figure itself so he has these goggles gray I uh, don't think you could take them off but you can raise them you can see his eyes uh, I th I'm just gonna keep them like that because obviously you could swap out heads for this I have the other head so but he has this cool brown jacket here I'm guessing it's supposed to be leather. Nice shirt. The hair looks good. There's a little, eh, never mind. I thought there was just a, there was some like tan bleeding there, but there's that little mark there. I don't know if I think that's might, that might be just a little defect. Jeans, just blue. Nothing real cool or anything. I mean, it is. I mean, I, this figure is cool, but shoes are white, so they're pretty good. They're, I'm guessing it's gonna help a lot because those other, like the other ones with the suits and stuff, they suck so they're they're hard to balance. Whereas these, these are wider feet. Whereas those, they have skinnier feet, so it's kind of hard to balance and keep them up. And then I think that's supposed to be socks. Nice white shoes though. They break good, but yeah. And then let's pop out the head here. I'm gonna I'm gonna display them with this though because I like the look of it. Oh, there we go. That looks cool. That's pretty cool right there. 
Um, but let's go over his articulation. So his head can move down just that much, I think. Yeah, or maybe it's just stiff. I'm guessing it's stiff, but I'm not gonna force it. Uh, and up, up, uh, come on. I think it's stiff. Yeah, it's very stiff, I think. Yeah, it's very stiff, hang on. All right, I think you could get up that far only. That's pretty good. Um, and then arms can move out that far. Pretty good. 360 rotation, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, wrists can hinge down that far, up that far. He has an ab crunch so he can move down that far. Back pretty good, but this kind of gets in the way. He has a waist rotate thing. His legs can kick out that far. Forward, pretty good. And then backwards, not much. He has a thigh cut. He has double jointed knees. He had, his ankles can move down like none because the shoe is kind of raised. The heel part kind of is raised, so it's kind of hard to move it. Angles can move up, not much either, but he has good ankle pivot. So, pretty good figure. Um, cool accessories and stuff. The head sculpts are really cool. Uh, the only problem with it is that the, uh, just the ankles, but that's really it. But yeah, cool figure. And the winner for guessing correctly and the only person I guessed and just repost on their story uh, for guessing Peter Parker uh, goes to Puff of Customs. Make sure you check him out. He does really cool photos of Marvel Legend figures and Legos. Uh, the link to his profile on Instagram is in the description. And yeah. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting Get me being able to do that and I'll also get more games uh, to do reactions to. I want to get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it and then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports, videos, other stuff like that. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.